Hey guys, cool blind way back. I'm Rick. I'm Calvin. I am Aaron. And we are here with a pick, movie very pick, special. Hot Fuzz. Hot Fuzz. I'm very excited. Hot about it. Fuzz. Love this movie, part of the yep. Cornetto trilogy. You have seen it. I have many, I have many, seen many it times. Many, many times. I think I've seen. There, there's a there's a thing that I've seen that you guys talked about that I'm pretty sure is at the beginning, which involves like a train. Mm-hmm. And it I think just, it was more of an editing thing that I've seen. I think you maybe have seen one other thing. Have maybe, I? maybe okay. which I'll talk but about once we get to it. Has it? Okay. Be good for him to learn. But you have not seen the whole thing. No, uh, no, no. Yeah, no. We watched uh, Shaun of the Dead. Yep. Which I think there's a couple of things like I knew of like the oh. like you know a couple of things yeah. like that, just things that you get through like I guess osmosis trailers or whatever and and stuff like that. Yeah. But uh, no, yeah, I don't. This is part of that trilogy thing. I, I also started watching the world's end at one point, thinking that it was this is the end. I was very confused, and I'm, I mean, I'm interested to get to that movie in a different headspace to see what that movie was about, but I stopped it after, like, I don't know, 20 minutes being like, where the hell is Seth Rogen? And I've never seen that movie either. Have you not? Okay. So it'll be good to get to that one. I sure. have seen it. Now, are these, I don't, I don't know, you say, you've seen all three? I've seen all three. Is it a trilogy in any way of things being connected, or is it just kind of like, the same guy made these three movies? Uh, nothing's connected. Or does that spoil something like that? <laughs> if so... It's, it's, it doesn't. It doesn't spoil. <laughs> it, it, yeah, it's less connected than the Tarantino movies. Mm-hmm. Okay. The Tarantino movies are like yeah. actually they're supposed to be in the same. There's universe. like a pseudo connection to the universe, but they're not called like the Tarantino saga. This is like know? Final Fantasy. Okay. Kind of. So, I don't know. Like there's similar elements and like maybe character names, but mm. they're not the same. But it's some of the same actors and yeah. stuff, right? Kind of like how Adam Sandler always has like the same guys in his movies. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. But yeah, super excited for this one. So let's get started. Yes. Police constable. <laughs> his face is <laughs> Well, however you spin this, there's one thing you haven't taken into account. And that's what the team is going to make of this. Hmm. So they're getting rid of him because he's too good. Yep. Okay. So make them all look bad. bad. You know the situation. We've been over this. No, I meant here. Two people involved. The sink side of a struggle. A complete mess. You are talking about here. Nicholas, <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> Janine, I've been transferred. I'm moving away for a while. Oh, not Janine. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Bob told me. Hello, well, I wanted to tell you in person. Actually, there's something I need to tell you. You're seeing someone else? Yes. How did you... Is it Bob? No. Does Bob look like the kind of person I'd go out with? No. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> exactly the same. Hello there. I can't tell any of them apart. <laughs> the window is broken from the inside. Huh? <laughs> All that. Uh-huh. Is, 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 <laughs> it's not ready. Yeah. This. I've seen this. He's talking about transitions. This movie might have my favorite editing. It's a pretty good transition of really like good. city to country. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were my husband. You must be Sergeant Angel. Yes, I am. I enjoy school, but I trust you had a pleasant trip. Fascist. I beg your pardon. What? System of government characterized by extreme dictatorship. Seven across. <laughs> this lady's weird. Well, uh, actually, I could probably make my own way up. Hag. I beg your pardon? Evil old woman considered frightful or ugly. It's 12 down. Oh, bless you. <laughs> <laughs> Fascist <laughs> hag. <laughs> Two straws. A lot of kids here. Oh, <laughs> blinded by his braces? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. What? When's your birthday? 22nd of February. What year? Every year. <laughs> <laughs> When's your birthday? Uh, 8th of May. 
1969. You're 37. Yeah. Get out. When's your birthday? <laughs> 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 I hope you're not planning on driving that. No. <laughs> oh shit! Good roll. Right. I'm taking you to the station. Where is it? <laughs> he hasn't even gone to the police station yet. What the hell happened on the way here? <laughs> the guy has a rope going on his head. You really want to uh, process all this lot? My pen's running in. Not a problem. <laughs> <laughs> you got a up and get out. Love editing paperwork like a Fast and the Furious race. It is. So good. Take it off it. Thank you. <laughs> he seems so angry. He's very focused. I mean, I guess he doesn't want to be here, so I guess I understand that he's angry, but he just seems so angry. Is this the next day? Yeah. How they all know it's him? I guess. Small town, work travels all, fast. They just kind of. Lock me up. I'm sorry? I'm a slasher. What? And I must be stopped. <laughs> <laughs> Can we go to the <laughs> Yes! My discount's a criminal. Catch me later! I love his introduction. <laughs> I love it. So Say, good. I'm a slasher. I'm a slasher of prices. <laughs> Lock me up. <laughs> I missed a little bit of it. I was like, Timothy Dalton. Well, how's our guest? Guest? The inebriate and so forth. I don't know. Nobody tells me nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Is it empty? <laughs> can I get cell four open, please? Danny, can you open four? <laughs> It feels like no one really cares in this town. They're just kind of like, eh. God. Who's God? <laughs> <laughs> evidence room. There's no evidence. <laughs> Detective Sergeant Wainwright and Detective Constable Cartwright. I expect you're wondering why we call them the Andy. They're both called Andrew. They said you were good. Also, because talking to them is a lot of people struggling, it, Dad. Oh, jeez. <laughs> they were so quick on that. They were. <laughs> were they holding it? The offender had the Kalashnikov. What? Who did he get that? You do know there are more guns in the country than there are in the city. Everybody and their mums is packing around there. Like who? Farmers. Who else? Farmers' mums. <laughs> <laughs> How do you do, Sergeant? Simon Skinner, I believe you've met. Oh, we're all very firm friends. Oh, please, please come with you, will you? This is Leslie. I need to know more about that man. I don't know what it is or something. He's Timothy Dalton, too, but. <laughs> well, all that remains is to welcome you to the weekly meeting of the Neighborhood Watch Alliance. <laughs> They have a round table? Very fancy. Janet Barker has just given birth to twins. This is a gossip table. <laughs> Righty ho ho. Righty ho ho. <laughs> hey, don't want me. Morning angle. Morning angle. Morning angle. I didn't realize they misspelled it. Is that what he circled? Was it was yeah. misspelled? Escaped. Yeah. Right. And where's the Swan Escape from exactly? Ah, uh, the castle. Oh yeah. And who might you be? Mr. Staker. Yeah, Mr. Peter Ian Staker. P. I. Staker. Yeah. Right. Piss Taker. Come on. Yes, Mr. Staker. Tall, long. Oh, it's this really tall British guy. Kind of yeah. Orange and black bill. Anything else? Wait. Well, it's a Swan. <laughs> This taker. <laughs> Mr. Treacher. Okay, what about this guy? Ask yourself, why has he got his hat pulled down like that? He's fuck ugly. <laughs> Thanks. Because he's fuck ugly. <laughs> well, maybe I'm not the one you should be keeping an eye on. That's the fridge magnet. 
His name's George Merchant, made a fortune in kitchen. Fridge magnet? <laughs> Actually, I wasn't talking about him. Oh? I was talking about him. Oh, the fuck ugly guy's stealing shit. Excuse me. Stealing biscuits. <laughs> he threw his hat. <laughs> Man, he is T one thousanding him down. Yeah. No. You mothers. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter, Danny? You never taken a shortcut before. I thought you might have seen this scene. <laughs> but I guess not. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that, like, he, like... Jeez. I hope he, like, trains this guy and he becomes, like, a good cop. Hey! Give me that! You didn't have to say that. <laughs> 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 you didn't have to with it. I'm sure he's going to learn a valuable lesson. Stealing biscuits is wrong. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Why was it a question? <laughs> we like the biscuits, isn't it? <laughs> Mr. Skinner. Is everything all right? Well, sir. Man, I don't know if it's like no one cares about crime. I don't know if it's a favoritism thing. People would hate that statue, though. Proper action and shit. Police work is not about proper action or shit. 29. Yes. If you'd have paid attention to like me that. in school, you'd understand that it's not all about gunfights and car chases. Fire up the roof. We got a car chase. That it's, it's was not. brilliant. It was like 10 feet. <laughs> Look, you're right. I apologize. See what I did then? You hypnotized him. <laughs> this is the most important piece of equipment you will ever own. <laughs> this notebook has saved my skin more times than I care to mention. And you should think about using yours more often. Oh, I do use mine. Show me. Oh, boy. <gasps> my gosh! It's <laughs> just extraordinary. Just see the one on the other side. A <laughs> tapeless <laughs> <laughs> bargain! To engrossing death. Here's to my love. Yeah, he's Romeo's like too old. For Fourteen. Romeo. Yeah. <laughs> Twelve. <laughs> oh, and the Juliet was the girl in the car. Bang! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> the look on his face. I know, I feel a little similar. It went bang! Love me, love me. Like, what the hell? Oh my god. You know, that's the bloke we done for speeding earlier. Yeah. Hopefully that's the last we'll see of him. The fuck? He has an axe! <laughs> <laughs> if it's it? the fucking statue. <laughs> <laughs> They've been right this whole damn time. <laughs> Who is it? Okay. Well, it's the statue. Wait, somebody don't, because he's just weird. <laughs> he says some shit. Mr. Skinner, do you mind telling me how you know the identity of the persons involved? You know how it is? News travels fast. I love Scrubble Romeo. Same as streets of Paris. Hmm. Traffic collision. <sighs> hey, why can't we say accident again? Because accident implies there's nobody to blame. <laughs> sure. Why do we need the dog? <laughs> it's not the dog we need. Oh my god! <laughs> what do you mean by this one? <laughs> Just took him in. Jeez, 
How many lights and guns do we have? By the power of grace, <laughs> Well, Mr. Webley, this is an extremely dangerous collection. It's a wonder nobody's been hurt before. Nah, just a lot of junk. <laughs> he looks concerned now. Oh no. Oh no! Just so many bullets. Run further! <laughs> the hedges are. We'll do nothing. No, but at least it's distance. Wait, is it not gonna blow up? I thought it was gonna blow up. It was ticking. Stop it! <laughs> Never mind. Hey, watch this. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Yeah. It's gotta be a thing, right? <laughs> Man, I've always wanted to do that. I could never do it that well, though. <laughs> I've seen the same thing with like a thing of cream. Yeah. Yeah. And just white stuff just. Ah. I've done that one. Tomorrow. I don't know what to think of him. <laughs> He's I'm your a, boy. I'm a slasher. You know, that's the first thing he said. How much do I owe you? 20 quid. There you go. And there's your chance. <laughs> bye bye. I love that he just like 20 quid. Rattle it off real quick. Oh dear. I would not want to be him in the morning. Uh, oh, it's him. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is. How did you move in? I thought we were the ones, and we switched the other. Mm hmm. <laughs> oh, blow up his house like he was making food when he got home. This is about to go off. Jeez. So who was that guy? Uh, he just a drunk in the bar. Yeah, the, the fridge magnet. Oh, that was the fridge magnet? Yeah. Well, Timmy Dalton definitely would want him killed, right? He was complaining about him. Yeah. Shit just got Dang. Dear Lord. That was amazing. Oh! <laughs> the first name is... Simon Skinner. He's in the loo. Excuse me. Excuse me. All right. Oh, oh God. That's some Final Destination shit. Oh, jeez, they're still showing it. Ah. Uh. Some of them look ridiculous, but some of them look terrifying. And you won't be an amazing police officer until you understand that. Well, I remembered something else you said in all. Oh, did you not? Yeah. You don't know how to switch off. Plus, <laughs> just <his> monkey. <laughs> he could have just walked in a bit. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, hi, Stefan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. No, sorry, you were talking about the offer. Turns out that Martin Blower, God rest him, knew where the new bypass road is going because he was knocking off Eve Draper from the council, God rest her. And then that reporter, God rest him, finds out about the route and tells me this land is very valuable. Mm. Apparently they want to build a big shopping centre or something. Of course, Cousin Sissy won't be too happy about that. But as far as I'm concerned, Cousin Sissy can go and fuck... Would you just excuse me for just one second? <laughs> no! Okay, that's a murder. Uh oh, there's blood.
the hell? Did he jump through the hole? He hit turbo. You're saying this wasn't an accident. Leslie Tiller was He's fucking murdered. Cops are awful. Yes. George Merchant. He put yes. money in the yes. in the tin. Because they swear box. Yeah. Hasn't been a recorded murder in Samba for twenty years. But sir, I'm certain. And what's more, I know who did it. Skinner. Simon Skinner, I'm arresting you on suspicion of the murder of Leslie Tiller. Leslie Tiller's dead. How? She tripped and fell on her own shears. Ow! Thank you. There was a loose end. Swan. Tim Messenger oh. splattered before he could share with me what he told Leslie Tiller that very afternoon. The true value of her land. Splat the rat. Wow. I didn't think about that. <clears throat> and they were talking about that church steeple, too. I mean, all makes sense. It's exactly what I'm thinking. Plus a little bit extra. Well, you've got me there. I'd need something conclusive. Something that placed you at the scene of the crime. The blood in the glass. Yes! A piece of broken glass this very evening. It's very evening. Uh, Sergeant, this is beginning to get embarrassing. Mm. I'm sure the store's security footage will absolve me. Do feel free to spool through. <laughs> <laughs> did it happen? She tripped and fell on her own shears. <sighs> Could be like another horror movie I have in my head. And maybe there's more than one person. It could be that he's just... I don't think he's wrong. Could be watching someone get stabbed and we've seen all the people get killed. It's that guy. <laughs> hey, look. But Mr. Treacher's got his big coat on again. <sighs> but the statue. There's still a statue. We haven't seen the statue in so long. Mm. Cornetto. Who's Cornetto? No luck catching it's an ice cream. Pillars, then. Is that why it's called the Cornetto Trilogy? Yeah. What? Yeah, I remember when... What'd you think? I didn't know. I thought it was like a director or something. You never oh. had a Cornetto before? No, I don't know. A drumstick? That yeah. was like a drumstick. Kind of, yeah. Except it's not dipped. So, Mario, you got brain freeze? No, I got brain wave. Get us back to the station now! Oh. <laughs> 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 it's more than one person. Come again. It's more than one kiss. Yeah. That was Skinner. I don't want to spoil the other movie I was thinking of, but there's lots of things in this that make me think of that. Ah! Oh! He's so big. I think it's the Yarp guy. Which would make sense. It's the Yarp guy! Skinner just has him doing his dirty work. Hey, Biggin. Playtime's over. The Beast Lily. No. Michael. Michael. All right. Here we go. Skinner and Michael. I'm gonna bust this thing wide open. Nicholas, wait. You might need this. <laughs> That's what he needs. Saved his life more than once. Not like a baton or a gun or <laughs> something on, something to take on a murderer. Or a car. We have a notepad. <laughs> Reason four bad guys. <laughs> it's a fucking cult. It's the it's the watch. Who watches the watch? Possibly from several places. How could it possibly from several There was like eight of them all running around. Calling yourself a community that cares. Oh, but we do care, Nicholas. It's all about the greater good. The greater good. How can this be called the greater good? The greater good. <laughs> <laughs> Blower's fate. Simply the result of his being an appalling actor. What? Oh, that's why 
why they killed him? You murdered him for that? <laughs> oh my gosh, what? Like he murdered Bill Shakespeare. <laughs> And so Eve deserved to die too. Oh, she did have a very annoying laugh. <laughs> oh, oh, and, and George Merchant? He had an awful house. Wait, so this has nothing to do with the land or anything? Cousin Leslie was a terrible shame. But it seems she was set on moving away. We couldn't have her sharing her green fingers with anybody else. Not least those heathens at Boonford Abbey. What? No one can. How can this be for the greater good? <laughs> Shut it! <laughs> For no reason, no reason whatsoever. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't say that. Mm, that makes so much more sense. Hello, Nicholas. I was like you once. Did they I kill the Popwell. Pop, pop, pop off. <laughs> Sergeant Pop off. I don't think that's it. <laughs> and I'm afraid you're gonna have to come with me. You are all gonna have to come with me. No, Nicholas. Uh, what about his son? I'm afraid it is you who is going to have to come with us. Jeez. No, he's not dead. No. no. <laughs> oh. Man. I was hoping Danny was just like, just stupid son didn't know anything. Uh. There's so many of them. What the hell? Hasn't been a recorded murderous sample for 20 years. It's a reasonably accommodated hoodie. Were those all the kids that were drinking? Yep. Or are those yep. the hoodie kids? <sighs> I'll make sure everyone gets their justice. Dude, they're just killing everybody. Great big bushy I don't know who that is. Ah, uh, that's the last police officer. Pop well. That's where he's been! Daddy! Ah! Fuck, man. Ta -da. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> what they, how they do it? <laughs> Get some. Oh. Bad boys, Sad point man. break. This is something I have to do myself. <laughs> Is it gonna turn into like an action? Oh my gosh! <laughs> Is he just gonna kill them all? Mom! Mom! Oh shit! Farmer's mom. Every every one of their mother has a gun. <laughs> oh! <laughs> he just kicked that grandma in the face. <laughs> Take out their eyes. <laughs> He's riding in town on a horse. <laughs> I wonder if the other police will help him. Morning. Does he have guns in there? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Does he always have guns in there? <laughs> Why the extra layer? I don't know, I wondered. Is he hiding something? <laughs> I love that they did that though. Everybody has guns! <laughs> There's more guns in the country! What the hell? <laughs> like that damn movie Maverick. Everybody <laughs> has a gun! Everybody's got a gun! Trying to fight you! What? Yeah! Open your car door. Yeah! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Fascist! Oh my god, hang! Jeez! <laughs> oh, jeez! <laughs> He's got a sword. I remember who he is. He just showed up with a sword. He's her husband. Oh, the one that was sleeping. Okay. Yeah. Oh, fuck off, grasshopper. <laughs> <laughs> no! oh, this 
Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh. He isn't even from around here. <laughs> Maybe. He's going to give it up, sir. <laughs> I don't know. His face is really good. <laughs> <laughs> Want anything from the shop? Oh, we got Skinner to deal with, and he has an army of people. I like the fedora butchers, <laughs> whatever they are. Don't do it on your own. Don't worry. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> I like how they have the tags for the evidence. Yeah. Still on them all. Yeah. They didn't have any police guns. They had to go get the evidence guns. It's like a uh, specimen or whatever. The one we just watched where they took the guns from the mall. <laughs> Evolution. Evolution, that's what it is. <laughs> he thought he got shot and he's going mental. He's, ah! <laughs> oh, uh oh, oh, oh! He shouldn't. Jew. <laughs> Damn, he's in. <laughs> uh, he's in the freezer. Did you say cool off? No, I didn't say anything. Damn it. Damn it! <laughs> when uh, I distracted him with the cuddly monkey, and then I, I said, playtime's over, and I hit him with the peace lily. You're off the fucking chain! <laughs> <laughs> Man, they cut I'll dry! Shotgun! Punch that shit! <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> the adjudicators! Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Like, what the fuck's going on here? Uh, uh. Bang, bang. What's he saying? Bang, bang. He's driving in a high speed pursuit while he's firing a gun. S the swan! Why'd you swerve? <laughs> <laughs> I love the little thing going like this. <laughs> Bite him! It's like a kaiju fight! It's <laughs> 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 not your village anymore! What's he got? <laughs> a box cutter. <laughs> Oh no, he's gonna. Oh! Jeez! It's over. Oh, he's alive! Because it didn't kill him! Oh my god! Don't expect me to believe you let it end the same way! I'll tell you how this is gonna end! Oh my god, we're gonna do point break, aren't we? <laughs> oh no. I was like, he's hidden to the. The swan! <laughs> Come back to London. Sanford's hardly a fitting place for such an exceptional officer. Yeah, well, the thing is, sir. Uh... I kind of like it here. Besides, we have to do a considerable amount of paperwork. <laughs> <laughs> that power's a bit sexist. You don't mind a bit of manpower, do you, Doris? Oh, dirty bastard! <laughs> Jeez! <laughs> <laughs> They're quick with it. They throw those so quick, yeah. What the fuck? What? No! Oh, 
How did he get through the cracks? He was always up there with the cameras. Oh my god, the mine. Oh god, no. Oh! <laughs> did everyone just die? <laughs> that was a really great miniature. Uh. Danny got shot by a, a blunderbuss. One year, jeez. Hope these are okay. Yeah. They're lovely. Hmm. Is it for his mom? Hmm. Little hand says it's time to rock and roll. <laughs> Bring the noise. <laughs> 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 That's it? They did, there's no explanation for him living? <laughs> he's just alive, he's fine? I mean, he got shot down here. I guess so, yeah. Well... Yeah. At one point... We, we got to a point in the movie where I'm like, Alright, I feel like we're coming to the climax of the movie. Like, he's he's getting to the point of figuring out, like, Timothy Dalton is... Is killing people or whatever, you know? How did you suspect Timothy Dalton? <laughs> I was like, I'm a Sasha! <laughs> I'm a Sasha! A price is, Catch me later! You know, like, it's yeah. just all the things he said, and he's like, he'll be in bits tomorrow, you know? And then they blew him up, but. We just smash your head open, all sorts of secrets yeah, would come tumbling like, out. This guy, either it's just very pushy of like, maybe he's the killer, yeah. and they're just having a lot of fun with it. Or it's like he's the killer, and it's yeah. just like they're just wanting to be blatant and and the cast. But he's Timothy got a Dalton. he has a charm yeah. to him too, you know. There's a charm, and he's just so blatantly just, you know. <laughs> ah, they lost their heads. <laughs> you know, so I love his performance in this. But uh, but no, we got to a point. And I'm like, oh okay, I have, you know, I think we're starting to wrap it up. And then I, we pounded the table, and the mouse moved, and it was like halfway through the movie, like, what else are we gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> Where are we going? Uh, <laughs> it's a lot. A lot of movie left to go. And I was like, oh, okay. But, yeah, it, 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 it like threads the line, too, where I'm just like, these cops are ridiculous, or they're just very stupid, and it's country, and they're just like, there's no way it's a murder. Or, or yeah, they're in on it. And they weren't. They, they weren't. were just... They, they were, were just, just so stupid and brainwashed. Yeah, and they at least they kind of cover the bit of the brainwash thing where it's like you've been brainwashed by your chief. Yeah, and your yeah. superior tells you all this stuff, you know. You just get stuck in like the thought pattern of, oh yeah, that's that's gotta no be an accident. Wants no, to believe that the people they see every day yeah. is no one know, who around criminal. here would want to kill people. There hasn't been a murder in twenty years. Like we meet everyone in town in the first few minutes, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I didn't think it was gonna turn into like a pseudo slasher flick kind of thing. But the, uh, there was a point where, like, it made me think of another movie, and then as we were going on, and it got to the thing, is like, well, how could I be in, you know, two places, two at, places once. at once, or whatever, you know? And I'm like, well, think of another movie, there's two people. And then there's <laughs> the whole village, you're just yeah. fucking killing people. The NWA, which is hilarious for me, because that's the National National Wrestling Alliance. What is NWA in this? That Neighborhood Watch Alliance. Oh, it's, yeah. it's for the Neighborhood Watch Alliance, okay. Yeah. But, oh, man. No, I didn't. So they killed the statue guy. Yeah. Which I don't get the problem with him. He was just on the street as a statue, like a performer, you know? But they don't want jugglers and yeah. gypsies or something. They put the trailer in the catacombs yeah. they have or they whatever. They killed the children. Yeah. Like they killed the underage drinkers, but then also just the children that they talked about before. Like there's child skeletons down there. Yeah. yeah. So it was the guy that had all the guns in there too? Yeah. Yeah. Like, what did he really do? And Just, and the Peter, the thief in the purple yeah, tracksuit. Yeah. He was I guess I kind of, like, he stole something. Yeah. Sure. The other guy was just like, I cut a bush, the yeah. edges, you know, but then he had a bunch of guns, but then they killed him. And I'm like, what? I thought there was going to be something with the Tim Reporter guy where it's like, it's not that he has a bunch of typos, but there's like a clue a code. among his newspapers that he's trying to get out there, but <laughs> people don't notice or something. But no, he's just really bad at his job. Yeah. So they wanted to kill him. Yep. Yep. 
And he also, yeah. It wasn't even about the, the land. No. no. Not really. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, the land was tangential to the cause. She was moving away. Yeah, the one girl was well, just leaving. Yeah. And they killed her. That, and, and, had nothing to do with it. And I think they also want control as to what's built there. Maybe. Like, they don't want another mansion like that or whatever. Sure. They sure. said it wasn't rustic like the it rest wasn't of the village in the and ru- stuff. In the rustic. They hated aesthetic. his house, so they killed him. And blew up his house. Yeah, and blew up the house. So it's like a two-for-one kind of thing. So, yeah. And then the one girl was just leaving. And like, ah, we can't have her. No one can. <laughs> I was like, and then they talk about, like, oh, you did this all for the land? It's like, no, we don't care about the land. <laughs> like when Timothy Dalton's like, we should drink to his death. Drink like, to their demise. Yeah. Uh, you yeah. mean their memories? The, their memories? Well, he did kill Bill Shakespeare. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was later on. It was. You're right. It's still <laughs> hilarious. It is hilarious. Uh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. But no, there was just there was just so many things that he said and all the things. And I was like, man, that's a... I was like, if they introduce him that way, then he maybe he's just the killer, and they're just—it's just really <coughs> heavy-handed, you know. It's like a lot of 80, 80s movies are really handed with who the villain is in the yeah, first they twenty do minutes, and it's it's Timothy Dalton, yeah. yeah. As opposed to most of the other people in the village, I'm like, I don't know who the hell these people are, but that's Timothy Dalton. And it's like one of those things where you're watching those procedurals, and you're like, oh hey, I know that guy. He's probably the killer, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So, but I'm, I. I was not also prepared like he went in there with a lot of guns and I'm like well sure they had pitchforks all kinds of stuff but they had everyone had guns she pulled them out of her baskets the guy with the big coat like what's he hiding in there he was hiding guns he was he was like does he just walk around the street all the time with a gun in his giant coat just in case and the the priest (laughs) yeah he had gamblers guns in his sleeves oh that was so funny no, this movie is so ridiculous. It's so hilarious. It is. It is pretty ridiculous. There's some pretty funny things, too. And they play off each other really well. I like the thing where it's like, oh, did you tell him to cool off? And he's like, no, I didn't say anything. It's like, oh, it's a shame. And he's like, well, you missed earlier when I threw a monkey. And I said, playtime's over. He's like, oh, you're off the chain. Or <laughs> yeah. whatever you're off the fucking chain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's just they have fun with lots of it. And I like, like, it's interesting, too, where they have the... Uh, Janine in the beginning and it's like hopefully you'll find someone else that you care about and da 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 and it changes stuff and he finds someone who's also in the job though but it felt like there was like a a romance or a bromance between them or something like that like yeah. there's that element when he's like you want to come in for coffee I don't drink coffee tea I know caffeine every midday another beer and then they had that moment there it's like I know exactly what you need and it's like where are we going with this and it's like movies yeah. and it's like oh geez okay <laughs> yeah all of those scenes were written for him to have a female partner, and they changed nothing. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. So, so it wasn't going to be Nick Frost? It was going to be someone else? Really? All those scenes where there's, like, sexual attention, yeah. that's the way it was written. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. funny. Okay. Yeah, the first draft of the script included 11 inches for Nicholas named Victoria. She was cut from subsequent drafts, but a good amount of her dialogue was given to Danny, often without any changes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is so funny. I like that. Because, like, there's part of me like, are we, is there a romance thing going here? Is that what we're doing? Like, I don't know, I don't know what, what's going on. And then it's just like, there's the movies. I'm like, oh, okay. It's like, I guess it's just like a bromance they get. And I wanted to have, like, I hope that, hope that he makes Danny kind of like a better cop because he was just kind of a buffoon. Yeah. You know? But I also hope that Danny would, like, kind of chill out, you know, the, um, shoot, what's my guy's name? Nicholas. Nicholas. Angel. Yeah, yeah, Angel. I hope, hope that they would, like, kind of calm him down a little bit, you know? And Because at the very beginning when he's just, like, walking, he's like, he puts up his badge. And it's just the same <laughs> it's face. It's just the same face. Though so you also kind of get that with Timmy Dalton when he stands up and he's smiling right uh, next to him. It's a picture of him just smiling yeah, the same thing. So like, good. No, I love how there's repeated beats. I love how everything is set up and then paid off. Yeah. The swan being around. The swan, you caught part of it at the fair where he's like talking about smashing the rat. Yeah. Smash the rat! Yeah. Or splat uh, the rat. Splat the rat. Yeah. And then it was later on when they, sh- they kind of show him like, oh yeah, splat the rat. And he was going to tell. And it's like, oh. Yeah, okay. but the song also there is talking about like the church's steeple mm-hmm. and oh, stuff yeah. too. So it's like, steeple, splat the rat. Mm, interesting. Huh. And with the town being more into it too, it makes more sense that like, who was it? The priest that pulled the names out, mm-hmm. and he pulled out their names. 
And he's like, yeah. your time is up, Tim. You know, like, your number's up, Tim. Yeah, your number's <laughs> up. Jeez, like, okay, it's very. But I was also like, at the time, I'm like, this movie sometimes is very on the nose. Yeah. I thought that's kind of like what they were going for, but it was just like everyone's in on it. Yeah, so well, like, that's why all the Neighborhood Watch Alliance were laughing. It's like, your number's up. It's like, ah! <laughs> like, yeah, it's totally an in-joke for everybody, and they just don't care. Yeah, well, and you kind of give an explanation of, not really, but it's like, oh, where's Skinner? Uh, he's in the loo. Sure. Like, oh, okay, he went to the bathroom. Well, he couldn't have killed him. He went to the bathroom, you know? And it's like, uh, and all the police are just like, there's nothing here. The, the Andes... Mm-hmm. Good, good. The I'm detectives. Like, detectives are just. Yeah. <laughs> I, do, I, I do like some of the stuff they do with them. Like I liked when they were at the uh, merchant's house or whatever, and they start to walk away, and the one guy leaves, and the other guy's like, but then the other guy comes back in real quick. <laughs> yeah. And leaves again, <laughs> and like you got a mustache. Like, I know. <laughs> you know. Like, I like, know. <laughs> I mean, they're not even on the screen, but I just love the speed at which they threw that trash can. Yeah. It's they're so, so practiced at it. It is. <laughs> Both times it happened, it was just bam. And it's used to save them against the dad. Yeah, I don't know. It was just and in the mine. Yeah. And so the hedgehog did nothing. It was just there. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, all right. But it came back. It was a hedgehog. Okay. And he said, like, I forgot all about the hedgehog. <laughs> He's just there. <laughs> that mine, they're just kicking it and stuff. <laughs> like, what are you doing? Deactivated. <laughs> <laughs> that was uh, Walter Frey, right? Yeah. Um, the doctor, whatever, mm-hmm. in the and the Yarp guy is uh, shoot yeah, the he looks, hound. He's the hound. Oh, is that who that yeah. is? Okay, <laughs> he kind of looks familiar, but I couldn't place it. But I mean, he has no hair, no um, beard. Yeah, the, the beard's not there. You know, it's just it just he just looked different. There was someone else too at one point. I'm like, I feel like oh, Frank, right? The the dad of the the chief. Yeah. I know him, Jim too, Broadbent, from stuff. I don't know what it is. I couldn't quite place what it is. But um, there's, there's definitely some stuff I know him. The from. Quick and the Dead. Wasn't that him? No, that was Gene Hackman. Yeah, Gene Hackman's in that. Oh, what was he in? With Russell Crowe. Yeah. All that stuff. But yeah, I don't know. And then Bill Nye. In the, yeah. In the, <laughs> is the chief inspector. Uh, and Bilbo. Yeah. <laughs> I, didn't, I, I was like, that guy looks a lot like uh, was it Martin Freeman? Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, is it him? And then, like, I guess thinking about it, too, he was in for a second, right, in the Shaun of the Dead? Wasn't he, like, part of the other group that yeah. was, like, mirroring their yeah. main group? Mm-hmm. So I was like, oh, okay. But, yeah, they just have a lot of people in this movie. Yeah. Like, some people I didn't even realize I knew. I need to figure out who that one guy is, though. I don't need to be, uh, shit. Which it's guy? Called? Hot Fuzz. Two Z's. I put in two T's instead of two C's. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I just, I just want to know who Frank is. Like, I'm like, man, do I know him from... Is he in Harry Potter? Is he in... What's he in? I feel like I know him from something. Um, he is in Harry Potter. He's... Um, Slughorn. Slughorn? Yeah. The... Um, oh, he takes over as the uh, headmaster after... Um, Someone is in in the IMDb as not Janine. <laughs> Janine, I'm not I'm not Janine. <laughs> oh, the the one guy. Everyone looked the same yeah. in that part. Everyone did. Uh, yeah, he was the one that told Harry about the um, the Horcruxes and stuff, and he gave him the memory about uh, Tom Riddle. Oh, is that what is that what it was? Yeah. That, that might be what it is then. All Moulin Rouge. He's like the the lead dude, I think, too. Yeah. I think I know. I think I, I recognize him from that. that too. He's like running the. It's not a circus, whatever it is, right? Maybe the circus. Oh, and he's an archmaster in, archmaster in Game of Thrones. Yeah. Maybe that's part. Of it. There's a lot of Game of Thrones people in this. Yeah. It's crazy. And then uh, you recognize the the tall British comedian uh, Stephen Merchant. Yeah, that's his name. Yeah, I recognize him. Like I just, I just like, oh yeah, he's that tall British guy. It's like and, I can't think of his name. Yeah. I've seen him in a lot of stuff. And the two uh, desk clerks, the desk sergeants, were Bill Bailey. Both of them. Both of them were. Both okay. of them were. Just different hair. At one point, I was. <laughs> there was one point, I'm like, man, I thought it was the same guy, but <laughs> it, it was. It was just different guys. Yeah. Like especially when they walked out, and he's yeah. like, I don't know, nothing. He walks away. Nobody tells me nobody nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Uh, 
But yeah, the uh, the editing, the transitions is really what stands out to me in this movie. The editing is everything else really good. Top notch. I remember at some point, I don't know what it was. I think it was like a YouTube video that was talking about editing or something like that. And I think they they talked about the hot fuzz um, transition from like the city to the country. Yeah. Of him traveling through, and it does a it does a good job of uh, conveying the travel, but also shortens it to where it's not just like a long period of time, yeah. but you get what's going on, mm-hmm. and I, I like that a lot. But then there's lots of really good like wipes and stuff of people, of things crossing over, like when they're sitting in the car, there's a time a car, a car like passes by and they use that to transition out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then they did it with people walking by. I also really liked the, um, it was at the end, when they jumped in the car to do the car chase, and he said, what was it? Punch that shit. I yeah. It was. Punch. And it was like punch shit. that. And it was like buckled up, push the thing, hit the gas, and then yeah. the car chase was on too. And it was like pop, pop, pop. And it just had a good rhythm to it, and stuff, yeah. which is really good. No, this yeah, this movie has great rhythm. I think just yeah. overall, and I love how they take something so mundane like traveling or paperwork and make it so frenetic. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. And it's like this is the action of the movie. <laughs> yeah. Like we're cutting it like action. Yeah. And it, it kind of felt that way. And then we got to the action. Yeah. <laughs> it was just... And you uh, you like that bit where they like left the, the fridge magnet at home and like they were cutting back and forth. It's like, oh, I don't know, you know, where the scene is. Oh, okay. Now the drunk guy is pissing in the toilet and then he gets hit over the head and then and then Nicholas Angel like sits down in the chair. Yeah. So it like transitions that way too. Yeah, it was done well. Because I liked it because at first like you want to come in for a beer and then when it cut it showed the beer and I'm like, yeah. okay, we've gone in for the beer. And it's just pissing everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and like, damn, okay. You know, whoever, I don't know, if Danny or whichever one, but then it ended up being the merchant guy. But no, I like that. Like there's just, it's really good. The, the way of having like, having more than one killer, but then showing where it's like, ah, oh, well, what you thought was one killer, actually they've been switching off the whole time or some yeah. shit. Like during the chase scene. Yeah, because I was like, damn, that guy jumped through the hole this big. Yeah. How'd he do that? And got like Which, 20 meters on him. Yeah. To be fair, he actually did go through that little hole. Like, as the shot was showing he through was the hole, over here, he, right? it, it panned to the right and he was hiding behind the tree. Yeah. So he did fit through there. He just didn't also run so far. 50 yards yeah. through the field. Yeah. That was, I was like, damn it. But, like, everything that um, Angel had was, like, it makes sense that it's him. He's a runner, you know, all this stuff, all the yeah. things he wants to do. The you know, motivation. He behead the, the disloyal customers and he stuff. He showed up at the accident and knew what had happened. Yeah. Yeah. That there, too, I was like, he was gonna inherit that the seems land. suspicious. But then when he's, like, too, like, there's no reason for you to travel that way. <laughs> it's like. Well, that seems more suspicious. Yeah. <laughs> you know? well, even more so. And the fact that the guys who run the tow truck just work in his butcher shop, too. Yeah. Yeah. So, I was like, there's so many things. I can't believe that this is named for ice cream. I was like, <laughs> what? what? <laughs> That's the most unbelievable thing? I didn't know. I thought it was... And, and after saying about director and stuff, I I know Edgar Wright was yeah. uh, like... We've talked about him in a lot of stuff. Yeah. He did uh, Baby Driver, right? Yeah. Like, there's different movies that we've talked about. I'm like, why, why was I thinking that? It was like a a, a, a director like yeah. trilogy or something, you know? Like but, the Hitchcock trilogy or yeah, something. Yeah, something, sure, like, something that, like that, you know? But I'm like, it's named after a fucking ice cream? <laughs> Only thing from the shops. Cornetto. Did they say about that during Shaun of the Dead? Because yeah. I don't remember it at all. If I, I just didn't catch it. Yeah, I remember when he goes to the shop and, like... The guy isn't there. Yeah. And he like <laughs> leaves the change and is like, uh, you, I owe you 15p. And he like he slips on the, the blood mm-hmm. on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> He's got one on his, like pinched in his mouth. I remember when, like he would go and he would get a drink every time there too. Yeah. But maybe they didn't say Cornetto and I didn't put it together, you know? There's a couple times uh, when Timothy Dalton ran to the cop car at the end and they had the, the chase and then he was poking out shooting. I was like, Fuck, I thought he was driving. And I was like, fucking, they're in, they're, they're in the UK. Yeah. They're in the UK. Like, yeah. other side. The steering wheels are switched around. And like, yeah. I, I had to remember and stuff. But, yeah, I was just like, wait, oh, okay, UK. That's right. Yeah. So, I don't know. Yeah, 18, you can drink in the pub. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which I like that scene, too, where he's like. <laughs> I love the bright <laughs> the, light off the braces. <laughs> the braces are, like, it's blinding so him. ridiculous. Like, ah! <laughs> it's so bright. It's funny. Uh, uh. Yeah, the the ketchup thing I was was one thing where I was like, did did Danny 
plan this? Because like you're like, oh, he gave him his notepad. I'm like, okay, mm-hmm. sure, he gave him his notepad. That makes sense. But then, why do you put the ketchup in it? The only reason you put the ketchup in it is if you're planning on having to stab him later. So was he aware? It's either that of what or was going it's on? for a prank later. You know, maybe like he's gonna go to stab him later. Sure. And then there's blood everywhere. Yeah. Like there's a few things. Like the movie didn't even really address at all. They didn't like pull out the notepad no. or anything. It was no. just you stabbed him. You saw what you thought was blood. And then you see him at the trunk, and he's like, catch up. And it's like, okay, we had that before at the bar, but how'd you do it here? Like, it wasn't like yeah. he, like, put the ketchup in while he stabbed him or anything. Yeah. So I was just like, it wasn't said. That's the only thing where I'm like, how'd this come to be? Because I felt like, is Danny in on it? Did he have an idea? Was he planning it beforehand? Did he wing it? You know, I don't, I don't know. So. Most everything, I feel like, is done pretty well. The story's interesting. A lot of things kind of really intertwine with stuff. Like, at one point, I'm like, there's a statue. He's been missing. He's killing people for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> he thought the statue was killing people. Well, I don't, I don't know why. They, they brought him up, and they talked about the statue and stuff. And look at him. He's here. At one, two, three. You know? Yeah, like, yeah. every hour. 11 o'clock. But he's just like, position. 12 o'clock. He just didn't move. 1 o'clock. <laughs> 2 o'clock. <laughs> but I'm like, I don't know him. There's a swan, but only the swan's killing people. But what's a swan going to do? Which... Speaking of, um, with the modeled village and the way it's like this little country village and stuff, kind of reminds me of Goose Game a little bit in some yeah. of those aspects. Because like when you play Goose Game, which there's a swan, kind of like a goose, it's walking around, there's like the garden lady and stuff, there's different aspects of things that you're messing with, and then you go into like a little model of the village that you've been running a havoc in, and there's keep all the grass signs and all that stuff. <laughs> And I just thought, I was thinking of Goose Game. That's great. I was like, what if Goose Game based their world on this <laughs> this village and stuff, you know? But it's just funny. Yeah, there's quite a few, like, 80s action movie references here. Well, they had a whole list of movies at that convenience store place. Yeah. One of the trivia things I like, Nick Frost only agreed to do the film if he could name his character. He was also asked to watch over 20 action films to warm up for his role. He only watched one. Bad Boys 2. <laughs> you ain't seen Bad Boys too. <laughs> no, I like when they had the thing with the dad. I'm like, no way he's gonna shoot his dad, right? And then it was like they're doing a point break. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he keeps walking. Or yeah, he's still running. running. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> so I liked, I like that. And then they had the helicopter fly slowly overhead yeah, for no like, real reason. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, that's like a Bad Boys Two kind of thing. Bad Boys Two and. uh uh, Michael Bay. They uh-huh. do they do a lot of like random slow mo points and stuff. Michael Bay likes those slow mos and explosions and stuff. So also in, in the uh, the beginning of the two NWA meetings, uh, that one lady was talking about you know having twin boys, mm-hmm. and then the next one naming them Roger and Martin for uh, Roger Murtaugh and Martin Riggs. Martin from- Riggs, <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> With the weapon. That's funny. I like that. The judge of the end. Uh, the two ladies, I think, is the two mums of the main characters. Yeah, they are. Oh, of the, the judges, the three judges at the end? Yeah. The adjudicators. It's, okay. Yeah. I love that they're just like, <laughs> <laughs> like... What's going on here? I like that he rode it on a horse with all the guns. Since when do we have a mounted division? Nobody tells me nothing. Dude, <laughs> and he walked in there, no one cared about anything. Except oh. for to say, to say, like, hey, the London police called you. Yeah. But even Frank, I think, was in there just like... He just walks by with a bunch of guns. It was just like he's eating his dessert. Yeah, there's a lot of dessert. A lot. Hmm. But so far, I've liked like Shaun of the Dead and this were pretty good. What what I had seen of the the third one, I was not enjoying. But also, I was expecting an entirely different movie, and I think my mindset may have been off. So I'm hoping the next one is really good. I haven't seen it. I haven't but seen it either. I feel like I know. Less about it than I had like either of these two, right? Sure. Like Shaun of the Dead, I had a good idea of what it was. I'd seen like the da 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 stuff, and I knew the zombies. And I have seen the third one the least of the three, by far. Is it pretty good though, still, or like you think? I don't. It was a while ago, and I was sick, so I don't remember all of it. Gotcha. And Me. I might have been like going in and out of consciousness. It's got to be an ice cream in it somewhere though. I can't believe that. <laughs> it's a Cornetto trilogy. <laughs> you know, I can never watch this movie with the fifth scene and not think of Taken 
and I can never watch Taken and not think of this fin scene. <laughs> yeah. That's, I, I get you there. I didn't even think about that until you had said about Liam Neeson. I was like, what? He's like, yeah, jump in the fence. I'm like, oh, yeah. Because this one was like, it's so, it was just a shot, right? And he's yeah. just like, Gloop. It's just a shot. He just Gloop. does the whole, he does like. And he does a flip. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's one shot. He does five fences with flips. Liam Neeson, one fence, five shots. 13. More, more than uh, that. It was, so it was 13 cuts. shots. 13 cuts. It was like getting up on the car, getting up high on the car, grabbing the fence, putting your foot on the fence, starting to jump over the fence, getting over the fence, <laughs> landing on the other side of the fence, done. You know, it was just so many. But, uh, dude, uh, Angel had a lot of flips and rolls and stuff they did in this, yeah. too. Yeah. Like chasing him through the, uh, the greenhouses and yeah, stuff. Yeah, he, like, jumped and did, did a, like, a, a I don't know, handstand flip yeah. over the flowers. And then landed and then did, like, a, a roll, like, dive roll yeah. thing. And I was like... Did some parkour? Yeah. I was like, did he practice this stuff? He's got to be wired? I don't know. <laughs> dude, some of the things, too, when the guy got... And I guess it's a little funny that... Like the the Tim guy, the reporter. Yeah. That death was crazy. They showed a lot more than I thought they were going to of I that know. big like statue spike like yeah down through him. Though whenever they defeat Skinner, he is defeated by the church yeah. spikes <laughs> as well. Yeah. Which is interesting, but that thing was like, and it looked really good. There's been a, there was a few spots where I'm like oh, I can tell there's some CGI blood and stuff that look a little spurty and weird. Sure. Yeah. But it still I was like, jeez. It's just such a horrific thing to imagine. Yeah. Yeah. It was like a Final Destination death. Yeah. Definitely. You know, like it wasn't like getting stabbed by shears. I've seen that from Jason or you know whatever. But that just falling off felt like a. This is what you would get from like logs flying at you or you know like mm-hmm. just crazy stuff. A lot of crazy scenes, but my favorite scene in the movie is when they're at the pub. And he says, uh, you could have been a great Muppet. Like, that's the first time that Nicholas laughs yeah. in the movie. And I just really love that. I don't yeah, know yeah. why. It felt like a camaraderie kind of thing for them, which I was like, this is kind of what I wanted. I wanted them to kind of bond more. You and then know? knowing even more that that's supposed to be like his female love interest. Yeah. It makes the scene so much better. <laughs> it does. <laughs> <laughs> and they play it really well, too. Where it's yeah. like, oh, okay. No. Shame, really. Yeah, yeah. I guess I need to... Watching it, thinking of like, okay, what scenes are supposed to be for like a love interest, and which scenes are supposed to be for watching Danny. So it. Like originally watching there was, it again. There was a Danny, that knowledge. and there was a separate person who was a love interest. Is that what you're saying? Like there were two different people? Um, I'm not sure if there was two different people. I or not. think I think the original uh, Christine character was supposed to be the partner love interest and the daughter of the yeah. So originally it wasn't a son; it was a daughter, and. That would make more sense of like it being a love interest thing, and I'm not it, really sure. Though. It could kind of fit. I could see it in the writing, like in the writing aspect, like Janine being like, "You're just in love with your job, but you need to find someone else that maybe you care about." And the person he finds that he cares about ends up being someone who's also in the job. Is the mm-hmm. job, you yeah. know? So like, he kind of like blends the worlds a little bit. But uh, no, I also think it's kind of interesting to have it where it's like the person he grew to care about was his partner, whether it was like a romantic love relationship or not. You know, like I, I think it's kind of an interesting way to do it. Mm-hmm. Like he found someone to care about, even if it wasn't like a love interest, love interest, just yeah. someone that he, he still cared about. Yeah. And Alien's not quite at the same level and making much of a difference, but I like that one too because that one was written for a male character, and then they didn't change anything and they just cast Sigourney Weaver instead. Yeah. Sure. But she doesn't have interactions like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. I guess she does. <laughs> um, yeah, I thought maybe something else with the Popwell was gonna come back too. Just his big bushy beard. Yeah, he was in the. That's who that dead beard. guy was in there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, there's one thing you're missing. Great big bushy beard. There's one thing that he had that you don't. What's that, sir? Great big bushy. <laughs> He's so excited to tell him about that beard. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't sure of, like... I, I get, like, okay, well, he didn't just... He said he died right in his grave. But they didn't even give him a grave then. So well, he just made a fake grave? They said that he had a nervous breakdown, mm-hmm. right? I don't think they ever said he died, did they? Well, yeah, I, they I said, you're point, they you're so ready to jump into Popwell's grave, aren't you? Oh, yeah. The detectives did. Yeah, they, they mentioned did. something about you're a right. grave. So I was like, did he have a grave? But he was just under the catacombs. Or <laughs> they whatever. should have just buried him normally rather than hiding his body. Yeah, yeah. So the murder 20 years ago that they were referring to, 
Is that reference at all for anything? Like, it's not the mom, right? No. Because she oh, killed the herself. Last murder. That, that would have been before her before death. Before her? Okay. Because she was a suicide. Yeah. And then all of, like, the gypsies and stuff like that, that probably would have been happening during Popwell's time, mm. were in the catacombs. So it's like... Hmm. Okay. Okay. I just, so it's just something from before that they don't really talk about. It's just like, it's been a long time. I do like that they reference in the very beginning. It's like, oh, you're going to love the little village. It's one, you know, village of the year a lot of times, you know? It's yeah. like, I don't know. And the whole thing comes back to like, oh, we're doing all this stuff to kill everybody because we want to be village of the year. Yep. And it's like, well, damn, this, that little trophy just means so much to you, huh? Yeah. <laughs> all right. Yep. <sighs> No, it was fun. I enjoyed it. It definitely kind of turned a bit more from what I thought it was going to be. It's very rewatchable as well. It is. Yeah, I have to. Uh, I re- rewatch this one a lot more than Shaun of the Dead. Mm-hmm. I could see that. Yeah. <laughs> like, I feel like there's more things that, like, when you have an idea of what is coming, oh, I see what they're doing there. Oh, I get that. That's a neat connection that I didn't catch the first time, you know? Yeah. Like, when he's like, going over the fences, he's saying, like, what's the matter, Danny? Never taken a shortcut before. That's a direct reference to when he was jumping the fences in Shaun of the Dead and couldn't do it. <laughs> And here he's an expert. He jumped five fences. <laughs> five fences. Yeah. Doing flips over yeah. and stuff like, like, like the Graysons or something. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so there's like meta connections between the movies, but no real narrative yeah. connections. Yeah. Because yeah. like it's obviously these aren't the same guys, you know, or anything. Yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> hmm. yeah. Really enjoyed this one. And I'm interested in watching the next one too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It'd be fun. So maybe we'll get to that at some point and, uh, in the meantime, make sure you guys check out over at Patreon because there's the next four movies available over there. Maybe maybe we watch the, the third of the Cornetto trilogy already. Vote on movies over there as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Maybe it'll be on a poll. So see you guys in the next movie. Woo. Guys, thank you so much for watching. We hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure you subscribe as we're pushing for a million subscribers this year. And as always, you can see more movies over at patreon.com slash blindwave and their full links. The next four are available there. And maybe the next Cornetto trilogy will have Eric in it. We don't need that fuck. Oh.